Well, if you're looking for a place to enjoy live entertainment with some of the best bluegrass artists, then the Lakes Bluegrass Festival could be for you. For this week's In Focus, Haiti Clatter shows us how mixing a little bit of country with a little bit of bluegrass is a winning combination. High energy performers took center stage at the 12th annual Lakes Bluegrass Festival in Pine River. Guests made themselves comfortable in their lawn chairs at the Cass County Fairgrounds to enjoy the music. The four-day festival features more than 40 bluegrass shows. We tend towards more traditional uh, bluegrass, but we have some more contemporary type groups as well. But it's all, it's all kind of within the whole family of bluegrass music. Bluegrass has influences of gospel and country music. Some of the most popular instruments are stringed instruments such as guitar, bass fiddle, and a banjo. Yeah, I sold a home for the Although the sky was cloudy and it was a bit chilly, folks still came out to hear bluegrass artists from all over and went on a musical journey through a variety of performances. Mark Fisher performed at the Bluegrass Festival a few times, but this year he's in the audience. He describes bluegrass music as an entertaining art form. Acoustic instruments without drums for the most part, and there's lots of good harmonies. The Cody Norris Show from Tennessee and Kentucky knows how to wow crowd. Even though this is Norris's first time at the festival, bluegrass is in his roots. He has nearly 20 years of experience under his belt. Norris considers his style of music as a trip back in time with a retro twist. Bluegrass, it's a, it's a very fan-friendly music, and bluegrass fans are the finest people in the world. And, you know, I, once you've got that kind of a combination for your occupation, you've got, you're loving something that you're doing, playing it for people who absolutely love it. I, how can you beat that? This year also set a record for the number of campers with 162 and more are expected to come. The festival concludes on Sunday. For this week's In Focus, in Pine River, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.